Hi guys, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel. And I thought I'd just give a wee talk on automatic writing. Um, I've been asked to do this and um, it's something I've I've done for a long while, but not that often, if you know what I mean. I, I use it because I'm a, a medium and can see spirit. Um, sometimes I forget that you can channel by writing as well. So first thing is, what is automatic writing? It's a paranormal skill or a psychic skill or a channeling skill um, whereby by letting your sense of being able to write and put words down, uh, you actually allow a spirit or your higher self, um, a guide, the universe, to actually channel through you and into writing and it sounds a bit mad but I think when we first start on maybe a spiritual path it's something we have a wee go at and um, I know my first few attempts at it you know I was just looking for general advice and I got a whole load of gobbledygook and you know there were a few odd moments in it where oh yes that's intense that's precise oh yes I love that but the rest of it was nonsense um, or it was in a completely different language that made no sense to me. <laughs> and I'll talk about that in a minute uh, because I have a very impressive uh, um, understanding of uh, automatic writing through something that happened in a reading to me. But in general, it's something you may want to do to communicate higher, whether that's your higher self, your higher guide, um, an angel, uh, whether it's the universe, whatever, a deity, whatever. And basically, as I say, you're letting yourself, um, you're letting whatever that entity uh, wants to pass on to you, and that includes your, your higher self as well. You're allowing that to flow through you and without um, intellectual thought, process is getting in the way which is hard um you let yourself write down what comes and um let me give you an example of one that um i found quite intense because um it combines actually automatic writing and automatic drawing now there's something to be said for artists out there to let themselves just draw and i believe that's how how spiritual artists that maybe draw pictures of um the spirit guides etc they may see them but others don't uh they they just literally are are getting what is flowing through them so um i find that um very artistic people uh should maybe use automatic writing uh sorry automatic um artistry as in writing or in um artwork uh whatever way it comes out but remember it's it's not you that's doing it and um i also uh, in a modern age, can't see why uh, you couldn't sit in front of a computer keyboard and ask for automatic typing and uh, see then what comes up in a document. I mean, how is that any different? I don't see that it is. You're just using um, a computer keyboard instead of a pen or a pencil. Obviously not that great for those that want to draw, but I mean, if you had a, even a an art um, app on your phone or on, on your computer, you could use it that way as well. I mean, we're living in a modern age, so who's to say that a pen is better than a computer uh, keyboard? Um, I think we have to move forward at times. So anyway, um, automatic writing when I started off was something that um, if I was tired and didn't want to sort of try to tune in to see my guide and interpret things, uh, I, I would just sit and um, allow things to flow through me. I could go in with the intent of saying, can I have advice on a problem? Um, but mostly, I don't know if it was ego or whatever, but I used to do it for things for the world, you know, how will the world go forward, you know? Um, how can we attain as a species uh, a higher sense of in, of um, spirituality, etc. So I must admit, in my thirties, I was quite grand with automatic writing, and I'm sure I must have some of the writing uh, in <laughs> in somewhere. But um, mainly um, from then on, when I did do it, it was more about letting um, my higher self or um, a different spirit guide from White Storm because he tends to be quite intensely there anyway 
but to let that flow through me. Now, um, one time in a reading, I, I didn't do automatic writing during readings at all. It was my tarot reading and mediumship or whatever. Um, but one day I was sitting, there was a woman in, and uh, I picked up that her husband worked in the Middle East, something to do with oil or engineering and oil. And um, as I did that, a, a spirit popped up. Now, I always kept um, a notepad and pen beside me because I always take uh, people's uh, dates of birth um, when I'm doing readings so I can match them up to the court cards of the tarot. So I always have that and note things down that come through that I didn't want to forget but didn't want to, you know, do at that moment. So anyway, this spirit comes through and he indicated that he had worked with uh, the woman's husband uh, in the Middle East and that there was a problem ongoing and he gave his name. So I said to her and she said, yes, I recognise that. Uh, they worked, worked together for a long while, but he passed away. I thought, this is interesting. And he looked at me as though I'm going to give you the answer to this chap's problem, whatever the engineering problem is. And he almost looked at me like oh god no she wouldn't understand <laughs> or like mm, how do I do this and before I knew it I, I picked up my pen looked at him I kept looking at him but I started writing and drawing uh, mainly drawing to be honest and it it was just I, I wasn't even questioning it it was like instead of him being able to sort of talk in technical terms that I maybe wouldn't understand wouldn't reproduce properly he just worked through my drawing and handwriting um, and then he stopped and says uh, make sure he gets that and uh, the woman sitting in front of me was like this is bonkers what's going on so I ripped off a bit of paper and said make sure your husband gets this because um, it's come through and I looked at it and it was like a cylinder with cylinders in it and bits coming out of it maybe like pipes I don't know I have no idea what this thing was but there was an arrow drawn towards one of the circles and above the arrow was something written in Arabic which I have no clue about, I don't know. Um, so the woman was quite excited about that because, you know, there was obviously the Ar Arabic writing. Um, so did the rest of the reading. Uh, she said that she would pass this on and she went home and faxed it to him. So she got back quite quickly and said, um, that was amazing. My husband was struggling. He, he was between two answers uh, as to what the issue was. He was an engineer in Saudi. And um, when he got this fax through, it was just that um, his old friend had helped him with the answer. And the, the, the name that I'd written wasn't actually a person's name. Um, it was like a, the name of a company that did a part something like that and I remember thinking whoa that's automatic writing and automatic <laughs> drawing um, but I've never had it as good as that again <laughs> so that's my best story and I, I don't think I can top it um, but I, I really am quite impressed with that one I don't think I put it in my memoirs as well I keep forgetting things that I, well remembering things that I should have put in my memoirs and I didn't so anyway um that's automatic writing and automatic drawing. And remember, um, do it whatever way you feel. But have a go because it might be something that you don't connect with at all. But it could be fantastic for you. It could be your way of um, journaling from the universe as such. Now, there's an awful lot of do's and don'ts and this and that to do with automatic writing. Um, do it what's best for you. Um, when I read up on it back in my late 20s, it was always a case of you use your non-dominant hand. Now, I'm right-handed, so um, I was trying to write with my left, which I could do, but it wasn't so great. And when I did it that way, believe it or not, the act of actually writing with my left hand got in the way. Now, the experts kind of say by not using this hand, it becomes less about you and what's coming through. And that might be the truth, but not if um, you're struggling with even 
the way that your pen's going because you're, you're not even gripping it the way that's even familiar to you. So I always used my um, dominant hand, but it's up to you whatever way works best. But um, just because you're told to do something one way doesn't mean you have to do it that way. And if it suits you better doing it another way, well, off you go. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, I just thought about doing this. I haven't any notes or anything, so no doubt I'll forget something. Um, do a meditation first. Get yourself in a nice sacred space and um, then put out your intent of what you would wish. If you want uh, information on a specific question, then ask that specific question. If you would like general advice on your spiritual path, uh, ask for that also ask for um, maybe your higher self to respond or your deity or your spirit guide um, or a spirit that's maybe passed that you've not maybe been able to get mediumship through by seeing them or hearing them. Why not? Again, probably maybe, I'll be honest with you, probably five times out of ten. Nah. Eight times out of ten, you look at what you've got and think, ha ha, brilliant, I'll bin that. Um, but, you know, if you keep going, you can land a wee jewel. Um, not jewel, but jewel, like. <laughs> um, anyway, so, do it the way you want to. Work with the guide or the essence that you want to use whatever hand you want to or a keyboard or a paintbrush whatever it is set out the intent properly be protected oh someone it nelly get out the cupboard oh, that is sorry about this um and just off his go why not give it a wee go i mean i have stuff as i say from earlier on in my life that um I wouldn't really, I wouldn't be impressed with, but I have um, one that was from a, a Native American called, I think it was Ten Bears, um, who come through and talked about earth changes, etc. I think it was Ten Bears, it was such a long time ago, I might try and find it. Um, but, you know, I only, the last time I used it theoretically was during that reading, which was way back maybe 90s, 98, 99. Um, so, you know, it's not something I would use because I have what I would say more accurate and better methods and I have a direct line through White Storm um, and we're very familiar and, and very good at sort of connecting with one another out with using a pen or um, a computer keyboard. Uh, but for those of you that maybe don't have direct contact with contact with your guide and um maybe uh want to chat more to your higher self i would say automatic writing would be a good way of investigating it um so sorry about muddle up with words today um i haven't got my devices in because i've got a wee bit of a sore ear and tinnitus so i'll just give that excuse out there um but i know that um, people have said to me that they don't mind anyway and um, that's fine because I'm not going to edit. Uh, so enjoy this. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and um, maybe let me know how you got on. I would love to hear from you if you do try it and if you get anything that really makes sense to you. Um, that can be absolutely wonderful. As I say, the story about the engineer uh, and the automatic writing is is a, an amazing one but it's a once in a career kind of biggie uh, so I'm not going to set it up the automatic writing is going to be something that maybe um, works for you all the time every time and uh, because if it does you have to think well am I channeling or is it me and that's where the problem can be with automatic writing uh, sometimes if you're not completely tuning in and you're not being completely honest about why you're doing it and what answers you want um, then your own hopes or your own answers will certainly overwhelm what's happening and um, that's where it can be a problem so you have to go in with no ego no expectations 
not even think about what you're writing don't even look at it that's the thing i've never ever looked at it basically it makes it really messy and it makes it you know jump all over the place but who cares so remember uh keep your ego out of it and um give it a wee go if you fancy it so um give me a thumbs up please subscribe and many blessings and i'll be back with other things soon bye now